Today we're going to be talking about sex and hair systems, but mostly sex and mostly hair systems. This video is going to be talking about uh, some of the things that you got to deal with, what you can and can't do, or what people say you can and can't do. That way it's going to be an illumination about what life is like with a hair system and trying to have sex, one night stands, all that kind of stuff, all right? So up front, right, like why is this even a topic? A lot of people are afraid that if they wear hair systems that they're gonna be found out by their opposite partner. Now that might take a couple different looks, like all the way from the Burt Reynolds, that's what I call that situation, where you're in the middle of doing the nasty and the woman apparently pulls off your wig and just completely kills it and you go off and Ari Kari, you just like, <laughs> just get rid of yourself because you're so embarrassed all the way to uh, how this, how will this affect my hair system, the longevity of it, is it healthy for it, all of those types of issues, right? So understandably, it's an issue, let's talk about it. Um, now, the, f the first thing that I think a lot of people ask is, hey, can a woman or man feel if you're wearing a hair system when they are having sex with you, right? If they run their, their hands through your hair and Here's the thing, right? In my opinion, they can't. So I do this all the time and I can't tell that I actually am wearing a hair system. I just can't. Um, the one thing that when we are touching our own scalp slash hair system that we can tell the difference is uh, with touch, we have two points of contact, right? So our sense of sensation is coming from two places. It's not actually one. So when we are running our hands through our hair system and we feel only one aspect of it, that's almost like, it's more like when we have a part of our body that's numb and we touch it with our hand and like the sensation, it actually feels dead, right? Like you're like, wow, why can't I feel that? It feels strange. I think that's actually what we're experiencing when we're like, oh man, but everyone can feel it. I don't think they actually can and I don't think that we actually can. It's the lack of sensation that we're feeling. Just my opinion. However, um, I, I was looking on forums, right, and I saw people talking about can they feel it or like how to avoid this thing, right? And. I see a lot of people talking there, they're like, oh man, I'd tell a girl I don't like my hair being touched, especially if it looks really good, um, and I would be suspicious to her, plus it makes you look very vain and girls don't like that so much. Or this other comment that someone said, uh, regardless if it's a one night stand or a steady girl, they tend to know I don't like my hair touched within the first time they touch it and that sets boundaries. I'll move my head a bit or pull their hands down or just tell them straight up I don't like it. If they ask, make up something small and change the conversation. So I think that these are some really, really great points. Now, let's go back to the issue. A woman can't feel the base of your hair system. So there's that. Now, the other thing that you might want to do, you're probably thinking, well, hey, can they feel the edges of it? Like, can they feel the front? Can they feel the back? Like, can that little, um, if, it, if it's poly, like that plasticky feel, like that there's something right there. Someone once said, it was either in a forum or in one of the comments on these videos, they said, hey, if someone is running their hands through your hair, all you gotta say is, hey, like, that's my scar. Like, that's just the scar that you feel right there. I think that was like such a brilliant answer because like, who's to argue with that, right? Like, they're, well, they can be like, oh, let me see. They're not gonna like investigate further. It's kind of a sensitive topic. The other thing is that, you know, so this is, this is my personal experience. I have had, somebody run their hands through my hair many many times over not just like the top but like you know the whole like rubbing up and down the back type thing and they had no idea they had zero idea they didn't mention it they didn't talk about it it was just it was a, a non-starter you know this is one of those classic issues where because we're wearing it and we're looking for things we're looking for people to notice right like uh, in the movie Inception, the dreamer, like the, all the characters inside the dreamer are looking for the person who's like invading. That's what we're doing. We're like always looking for someone to notice what's wrong with us or what's, which is completely the wrong mindset. And, and, and from this topic right here, I would just say that if, if you're worried 
about someone touching your hair, don't worry about coming off as being vain or coming off as being like, uh, not even eccentric, but just don't worry about, just be like, hey, uh, if someone, if you're worried about someone running your their hands through your hair, all you gotta be is just like, hey, I'm sorry, like I gotta, I'm like really sensitive right there. It's actually, it doesn't feel good. And who's gonna argue with you about what does feel good, especially like, you know, if men are worried about women and being like, wow, what a douche. Think about this. Uh, a lot of women have places that they're very erogenous that feel good. But at the same time, if, if they're, they're too sensitive, right? Like our, uh, parts of our body are too sensitive at moments of romanticism and it actually goes from feeling good to, to not so good. So like that, that can be the same thing. We just be like, Hey, it actually, like, it doesn't really feel good. If you run your hands through my hair, I'm sorry. I know it's a little weird, but just that's all you got to do and just be cute about it. Right? Like it's not a big issue. Now, the other thing that kind of comes along with that, right. Is like, is the Burt Reynolds going to happen to me is like, are they going to like pull my hair and then <laughs> it's going to like come off? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I've had, I, I, I can pull my hair right now. Like I'm pulling it actually. Like I can feel the tension on it and it's not coming off guys. Like it's, it's, it's on there. Like we're using medical grade adhesives and <laughs> someone pulling it is not going to be a thing. Like the thing to think about here is overall surface area strength because you don't have just this one point of glue that you can like pop off like that, right? Uh, have you ever seen what is happening? Or like, you know the suction cups, right? Like uh, a good example of it is like in the secret spy movies where they're like, and they like pop it onto the glass and they're climbing a whole window. It's holding their whole weight. I mean, that's essentially kind of what's going on here. Like the fact that it's adhesive and it's bonded pretty much everywhere is it acting like that suction cup like it's not you're not dealing with the strength of the adhesive just like this right here you're dealing with the the strength of the adhesive over a large surface area i don't know if you ever did this as a kid i did uh, but my sister had like nail polish or nail glue you know like nail fake nails on here and i used to take it and it's very strong and it's very quick acting and i used to like stick it between my fingers and it just it was a weird sensation thing i like to do I'm weird, I know it. But one day what I did is I applied it all over my hand. Like I was like whoosh, whoosh, and I stuck my hands together, right? And I literally couldn't get them apart. I could not get them apart because I like because I couldn't get leverage on it, right? And this is what this whole topic is about. It's about leverage, right? Like when you have that larger surface area, it would require a lot more leverage to like, you know, debond or get the, remove the bond from your hair system. So Listen, maybe it's possible, but if you have a good bond and it's not like weeks and weeks, like no months old, like you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. So nextly, can you, can your system, hair system deal with the sweat? Naturally, when you're getting it on and you're getting down and you're getting jiggy with it, you're going to sweat a little bit if you're doing it right. And that's cool. That's, that's gravy, man. Hair systems can take that. Because a great proof of this, right, is that I am always into extreme sports. I'm always doing a lot of like more competitive or like aggressive exercise, right? Like I'm not just like jogging along and like it's not 50 degrees and very, very cold here. I live in Florida and I do CrossFit and, and things like this where I'm sweating a lot more than I actually I sweat when I'm having sex. Way, way more. I just, I'm drenched not an issue. Once you find the right bond, you got to find the right bond, which is a whole other topic. And I want to address it more and more. The, the next thing is like, will it look weird? Will the hair look fake? No, it's not going to look fake. Like if you've got a good system, sex isn't going to change that. They're not going to notice it up front. Like we're so hyper conscious of what people think and we're afraid that people are going to notice this kind of stuff that it's like it's ridiculous guys like this is not the way that hair systems should make you feel they should completely alleviate a lot of this stuff that you were nervous about 
it's not gonna look fake, it doesn't look fake. It's just, we need to stop being so sensitive about this. Um, yeah. Lastly, I think, the, and this one is a little bit longer, performance anxiety. I don't know about you, I've experienced performance anxiety in my sexual escapades, if you will, or as the Spanish say, escapades. I'm joking, it's not actually how to say that. But um, performance anxiety is a real thing and definitely not the friend of men or women when it comes to uh, romantics, right? Like that, that, like that mental pressure where you're like, in a sexual situation, but your mind is somewhere else you're thinking about. It could be, hey, I'm thinking about my job. It could be, hey, I'm thinking about like my financial situation, or hey, I'm thinking about my hair system and what my partner thinks. So in any of those situations, performance anxiety is an issue, it's a real thing, and it's something that needs to be addressed, right? And a lot of it is due to comfort, and it's due to, <sighs> We need to shut off our mind. But is hair systems gonna give you performance anxiety? No, you're gonna give yourself performance anxiety. That's something inside of your mind that can come from wearing a hair system, from your financial situation, from a billion different things. And it's a natural thing to experience. It happens, not just to men, but also to women. So that's, give yourself some grace there, number one, but two, um, you're gonna have a lot of performance anxiety if you're constantly worrying about your hair system. This is actually a mindset, guys. Uh, it, it goes beyond hair systems, we'll talk about hair systems. If you are so focused and dialed into your hair system all the time, like what are people thinking? Like, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's natural, you're gonna have some performance anxiety because you have performance anxiety in your whole life. Now it's showing up in your sexual life, but I bet you anything if you're thinking about hair systems 24 seven and like you're at work, right? It's gonna affect your work performance. Maybe someone's not gonna call you out on it or you're like, it's not gonna have an effect on, you know, your <laughs> down below, but it's going to affect your performance mentally. And that's what, you know, sexually we need to be mentally there as well. So this is something that we've gotta address holistically about worrying about things. We gotta, we gotta shift our mind, take ownership and power over things, take confidence, take uh, take a, a much different perspective to our outlook on life. And the, the whole point of this video, right, is that a lot of people feel that they're not gonna be able to do regular things in their life when they're wearing a hair, hair system, and that's just not true. It's just not, not true. There are things that, like you, extra things you might have to do with a hair system, including, you know, like learning the bonds, learning how to take care of it and things like that, but it's not designed to augment your life like so that you can't do things, whether it's swimming, working out, sex, all this kind of stuff. You can do all of it. Every last thing that you wanna do. And you shouldn't be afraid to. There's gonna be a period of time though where you feel very wary of doing things. And that's natural too because that is the, it's like the phase that we go through when we're, we're young, we're babies, right? We're testing the waters, we're trying things, we don't know what's really possible, and things might seem a little scarier than they used to, or than they, they will in the future. Uh, that's just, that's natural, that's part of like starting to wear a hair system though, is you, you test things out and you see what does and doesn't work, and you learn what does and doesn't work, like, you know, there's a period of time where I was like, oh, can I sweat in my hair system? Like, I'm gonna, I'm like, I'm gonna beat around the bush here and we're gonna try and, and see how things go. And, you know, now that's not really an issue for me at the moment. Um, the same with swimming. I've gone swimming with my hair system and I'll probably make a video on it, but it's, it's just not an issue. Like, I know I can go swimming in it. Um, I know that I can have sex in it. I know that so far, I really don't have an issue with anything and wearing a hair system. I just go about my life and I just jam and have a good time and enjoy life. Anyways, here's the point guys. Hair systems and sex, they're compatible, they're totally possible. And I don't think you need to worry as much as you think around being discovered, number one, if you wanna be incognito about it. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about women touching your hair. I really don't. I think that it's, 
feel fine with them running their hands through your hair. Just let it be a thing, you know? And if they do feel something, be like, oh, like, what's that right there? Just be like, hey, yeah, I have a, I have a really sensitive scalp. And, um, you know, that right there, that's, that's just like a little scar. Or it's from a, a medical procedure, if you don't want to lie. Just, it's from a medical procedure. This is kind of a medical procedure. And, like, no one's gonna, no one's really gonna push. If they're like, hey, do you want to talk about it? Just be like, I, I'd really not rather right now. And, and just let it roll off you and just keep on doing your thing. No one's gonna think the other. Or no one's gonna think the more about it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Hope you're having a great weekend. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think. Topics that you want to hear about. We're doing Fan Mail Friday, which is all about uh, your questions. I'm going to answer them. Upvote the one that you like the most inside the comments, whether it's yours or somebody else's, to make sure that I answer the proper ones. All right? Thank you. Talk to you soon.